Is, is there any Manchester United fans here? Glory, glory, Man United. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the second episode of Red Card. This week, we've got four Manchester United fans trying to figure out who is the secret Liverpool fan. To start us off, what we'd like to do is just have the opening round. It's called the lineup. Give us a brief intro about you and how much you love the club and why you love that club. Okay, so um, I'm Daniel. I love Manchester United. You know something with United, yeah? I can tell with Gerard as well. They got us so young. So obviously, you know, we're going to love them. Even though right now, I'm in a toxic marriage with United. So I can't divorce them, but we're in a toxic marriage. You can't win 9-0 and the next day, you're, you're throwing 3-3. Three, three. It doesn't work. I'm not going to divorce them. We're still we're still family. I will see how things go. All right, that's that's my story. No, no, <laughs> you know the vibes. Okay. Hey, everyone. My name is Fabian Cruz. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Colombia. This is actually where the story begins. Here in Colombia, we have a team, my favorite soccer team in my country, which is called America de Cali. And they're called the Red Devils. Then, when I saw that there was a real Red Devil team, you know, in Manchester United. I fell in love with them. That's Manchester United's passion. So I've been following United since, sorry, my dad is a Villa fan. I'm from Birmingham. Yeah. My dad is a Villa fan. He took me to Villa versus United in the Coca-Cola Cup final in 1994. We lost 3-1 and ever since then, it was Andre Kontrzelski has been sent off, handball on the line in the 91st minute. And I said, that is a man who is prepared to give it all for his club, even though he's losing, handball on the line. I like the cut of his jib. I am a United fan. And so as a result, I had a much better time than my dad uh, throughout the end of the 90s and the early thousands. So, uh, so yeah, thanks dad. Hi guys, my name is Jared Matthew. I'm from South Africa. 19, I'm located in Durban, KZN. Yeah, I love the club. It's an amazing club. I've been a supporter since day one. Um, didn't really have much much of a choice. My dad got me thrown into the shirt from a young age, from six months. And I've just, my love has grown since then. I'm from Manchester. My name is Ash. Uh, been, Manchester's been in, Manchester United's been in my blood all my, all my life, all my families. You know, one of my very earliest, earliest memories is going to the stadium with my dad, actually getting a blue and white shirt, which was a 93, 94 shirt. If you remember, it's got all the names, all the names of former players and past players and stuff. And you can just love the club from for, forever. So now we're going to go into round two, which is the game. I'm going to pick somebody at random and you guys will pose a question to the group, okay? What we want you to do is kind of just make a signal. If you think you know it, you can say, I know it. And then the person who asked the question will pick somebody to answer the question based on that. What we want you to do here is kind of use this time to try to figure out how rabid is the other person's fandom and who is the person who is pretending to be a Manchester United fan and is the secret Liverpool fan, okay? Is that clear for everybody? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start off with, uh, let's go with Daniel. Daniel, you start off, pose the first question. Okay, um, in 2011, Manchester United lost 6-1 to City. Who scored United's first goal? I think I, think yeah. I have a feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know. You want to give it to Ash? Uh, Darren Fletcher. Yes, sir. Indeed, yes, indeed, sir. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. That, that's Ash, now it's up to you. A fairly simple one, which I think everyone should, should kind of know this one. What was our name before Manchester United? We've had a, we've had a big oh, green and gold. I know, hey. I know. Who do you want to ask, Ash? Seems like Jack and seems like Daniel both know. Jack, 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 Jack. Yeah, let's go, let's go Jack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gosh, Newton Heath, Newton Heath. And the old, uh, yeah, yeah, the old yeah. yellow and green, green and yeah, gold. Yeah, green and gold. Newton Heath. All right, Newton. Jack, good answer. It's your question. Who You can pose anything you want to the group. Let's go. It's like a really, really basic one as well. Who's the Holy Trinity? Yes. Mm. <clears throat> In my head, I can picture it. I've been in front of the, I've, I've been at Old Trafford in front of the Holy Trinity, but I cannot think of the names. To be honest, it's, shame, it's shameful if you don't know. C can I say? Can I say who it is? Ash, you're right in that it is shameful. But go, go ahead, Ash, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Holy Trinity is Best, Law and Charlton. Uh, George Paul Best, Dennis there. Law, yeah. Bobby Charlton, Bobby part Paul of the 1968 yeah. uh, European Cup finalists. So uh, let's go back to Jared. Jared, you pose a question now to the group. Can anybody sing 
one of United player chants at the moment, one of our current players, can anybody go with the chant that they sing inside the stadium on a match day? So who wants to be the real fan here and, and actually sing something? Well, Don't worry, nobody's going to watch thinking. I suck oh, at oh, thinking, oh. but you know, I can do it. Even if you Fabiano, speak, yeah, Fabiano, you first of all, so something that we do. So glory, glory, man, United. Glory, glory, man, United. So that's one of the chants they have over there. Um, fun is the Roy, da, 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 and so on and so forth. Fabian, I have some, I have some news for you. Vanessa Roy hasn't <laughs> played for the club for a little while. I was I gonna know, say he's gone. He <laughs> I'm talking about the legend, you know. Because I think Jared asked for a current player, no? Yeah. A oh, a current player. player. Yes. Oh, I missed that, Jared. I'm so sorry. All right, well, anyways, Fabian, it's up to you. Pose a question. Our team plays at Old Trafford, but did you know any other locations where they played before? All right, let's see. Yeah, I know this one. I'll help like you out with your, with your massive headphones and your massive speaker. Main Road, they played at City's Ground during the war. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna die. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this round. So hopefully you got a good idea of maybe who is a true United fan and maybe you have an idea now for who's posing. This is round three, the penalty shootout round. Each guest will pick one person that you're suspecting and ask them a direct question. So whoever's asking the question, you're lining up on the line. Whoever's answering the question, you got to don the goalkeeper gloves. One question per person, direct that question at somebody. Fabian, you're going to start this time. Okay, this one is for Jared. Who is Man United's top scorer in European competition? At the moment? No, in, in, in history. In history? I'm gonna go with someone that's more current that I've I've obviously been watching. I'm gonna go with Rooney. I'm probably wrong. But I'm gonna go with Wayne Rooney. All right, and no, that's wrong. Can Who you give the right then? answer then? Ruth van Nistelrooy. Ruth van Nistelrooy, of course. Um, your favorite uh, chant. Exactly. Yeah. The, one of the reasons why I became a United fan. All right, Jared, you're up. I mean, um, you, can, you can pose it right back to Fabian if you want. Oh, it seems that he's a big Rune Van Nistelrooy fan. I want you to name me five mm -hmm. number 10s we've had in United so far. Five number 10s. Uh, Van Nistelrooy, of course. Yeah. Number one, he played with that dirty. Rooney took over his position after that. Right now we have the good Rashford playing with that dirty number. Oh my goodness, I remember more sevens than tens because that's a more iconic number. Three of five. You got your finger yeah. to it, but I think it still went in the net. All right, I'm going to move on then. Let's go to Daniel. Daniel, pick somebody. Yes, sir. Point suspect. Uh, the Villa fan. The Villa fan. The Villa, his dad is the Villa <laughs> fan. Yeah. Someone said this. Can you tell me who said this? I've got more respect for Ferguson than anyone else in the game. He's the master. He's like a scouser. Really, he's funny. And he even votes Labour. I love him. Who said this? <laughs> Say it again. I've got so much respect for Fergie. So it's like a scout, mate. I've got so much respect for Fergie. He's funny. <laughs> and he even holds Labour. I love him. I, I, I helped you a whole lot right there. I helped you too much. The, o the only man who swallows his words as much as that is, is Carragher. Ah! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Decent, decent accent. The, worry, the worrying thing, Daniel, is it too good? Yeah, yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah. A good shout. Has anybody else been scanning the kits behind them and seeing what you can find? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have. Have been to link it up. <laughs> sure. this, is, this is not about Daniel. We need to. <laughs> no, I was having let's a look, look and I'm. The, 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 the among us. What shirts are you blocking back us. there? The problem is among us. Jackie <laughs> aimed his penalty at you, so now your turn is up. I'm going to go Jared. Darkest moment of our history, Busby Babes. Can you tell me the date of the Munich Air Disaster, you know, special gold star, if you can remember the time that's on the clock face? Like the exact date, year, month, everything. Yeah. Okay, obviously, it was, it was just the other day against Everton in February. The thing is, I'm not really a history person, so these type of things are going to get to me. I can remember how many years ago it was, though. I don't remember the year. Tell, um, us, tell us the number of years. 63 years ago. I'm not yeah, it looks about right. Definitely 1958, isn't it? Yeah, 1958. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it was it seven minutes past three? I think at uh, six February. Four minutes past three. Or was it four? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it seems like nobody has suspected Ash, but Ash, the final question is falling to you. Are you going to take this opportunity to aim your shot at? Yeah, Daniel with a Spurs shirt on his background. That's shameful, oh. mate. Oh my. <laughs> 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 
Let's take that right, it's a special one right now. And you got the Le LeBron, LeBron uh, Miami jersey, who's also hey. the... Oh, oh, is it Freddie Liverpool, Liverpool owner? Yeah, Liverpool That's owner. Really Ash, if you're going to go with it like that, you also got to think of it. You've got you got Spurs, you've got Dortmund. I think we've had more Dortmund players than Liverpool. Mm. So if, 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 what if is going on? So right, it's in, it's in a shirt. It's almost everywhere plastered. What, what was the year we was established? You see it on the logo, the little <laughs> logo as well. The, you know the devil logo alone, the year we was established. A tough one, but one you should know. This is my first answer. 1908. Oh, no, no, Close. not 19, not 19. Wait, can, can we ask Jared? Because Jared doesn't know either, does he? See, if I don't know it, <laughs> don't do my man Jared like that. 1932. No. Oh. 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 Is, is there any Manchester United fans here? 1878. Oh, good dynamic. Good dynamic. Yeah, All right, there guys. There we go. There we go. So now, guys, we're going no. to round four, which is the ceremony round. You apply the red card. You say who is the intruder. And then we'll unveil, you know, who is the fox in the hen house, who is the secret Liverpool fan. You guys ready? Start with Ash. Hey, oh, it's a tough one. I mean, Daniel's shocking with the shirts in the background, but I do oh, like the way he's to the point, Hey, I, I understand. <laughs> Jared wobbled quite a bit. I'm going to lay it down <laughs> on Jared. Give, give Jared the, the red card on this one. The first one goes to Jared. Jack, you're up. Who are you going to give your red card to? The only person I'm sure is a United fan is Fab. Anyone who's fine with Rude is fine by me. Daniel, the shirts. Parmi, Ash, is, the, ga the game is that he's a secret Liverpool fan. If he was a secret City fan, it would be Ash. Ash has, Ash's knowledge is good and his accent is so convincing, but he could never be a Liverpool fan being from Manchester, so it's not Ash. Jared, the yeah. air disaster. 1932. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Charlton was 45 in 1932. I mean, there's no way, there's no way in hell. Maybe Jared's been watching more Liverpool than United down in South Africa. So Jared is a, a second strike against you, I'm afraid. Two red cards for Jared. We're going to go now to, to Daniel. Okay, apart from Fabian. Fabian, I let Fabian go. You know, Fabian's I, been the most quiet person here and somehow he I'm doesn't have to be your suspect. You Fabian, if you mess me up and you're a Liverpool fan, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find you, bro. I'm going to find <laughs> you. <'cause that laughs> well, Ash, big suspect. You see, Ash, big suspect. Jared, you're automatically a suspect because you're falling for every trick in the book. Ash and my boy from Birmingham, two of them. Yeah. We can come back to you if you need. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Thank you very much. Let's go to Jared. Jared, you've already got two cards, so why don't you give yours out to give yourself some different? I can excuse my bad history and everything. I'm all for that. You can say the Trinity, all that stuff. The fact that Daniel's backing me, the fact that he's giving me grace over here and going for the other two, and the shirts for me is a bit risky. The problem with Ash is, like you say, his accent is there. It's so it's too true to be good, if that makes sense. But for me, I'm, I'm going with you, Danny. I'm sorry. I have to go with you. I'm giving you the red card. I'm going to flip it on to you. We have know. two red cards for Jared now. We've got one for <laughs> Daniel. Fabian, it's up to you. Jared has problems with history and stuff, but millennials now don't remember facts. The Liverpool fan who imitates very well Liverpool accent, by the way, who oh, has no. been loud, trying to divert the attention. Mm -hmm. My friend, Daniel, <laughs> you have my red card. So that's two for Daniel, two for Jared. The final kick is yours, Daniel. Mr. Aston Villa, how are we doing over there? A little bit nippy, to be honest, but I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, what are you holding, okay. Jack, right. in okay. your hand? What is it you're using to? Huh? Just got a pencil. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> you gave me the red cup, baby. So yeah, sorry, Simon. Uh, no we're going to send some Escobars no to, your, to your house. Yeah, that's right. You done messed up, Fabian. Okay. Ash. My one is Ash and my only suspect. 100%. Look at Jack's car. 100%. Jack, 100%. what are you doing? You know, Justin, we got to follow the rules. If not for that, I'm giving both of them. I'll split the red card in two. Ash takes one. Jack takes one. Okay. But for Look the sake Jack, of it, yeah. Daniel, this was... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give mine to Jack. I'm going to give mine to Jack for sure. I'll Ash, take I'll take Ash, one, I suppose. You, considering Ash. I'm <laughs> Jack shot the gun and it unveiled a bit yeah, early, but uh... wait, wait, who was it? 
card. You were the only one who gave out the red, right, the right red card. You were the only hey, one. Hey, who hey, red hey, red come on now, hey, hey, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And yeah, Daniel, I, I, Jack was actually wearing the Liverpool scarf the entire time you were debating whether or not to give him the red card. It was Go a on, magic. Ash. It was a magic play by him saying that it was Villa and his dad about Villa and it threw off the <laughs> yeah. a little bit nervous. We're gonna go one uh, one at a time now. And what I wanna do yeah. is get some feedback, what you thought about the game, kind of how it played out. All right, Daniel, you brought a lot of energy to this game. Can you can you talk to us a bit about, you know, what your feelings are? You got two red cards. That's outrageous. Outra <laughs> but hey, that means I did my job well. Cause the boys, yeah, they were thinking something else. We jacked up from the start. Everyone seems to say Jack had a wonderful job. I thought he messed up from the beginning about uh, Aston Villa, no, my dad, this, that, and the other. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I love the passion though with the scouts, it's 100%. All right, with Jared, give us yeah. some feedback. What did you think about the game and, and the result? I'm, I don't know my history about United. So I got made look like a fool from the beginning. No, 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 you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. It was very, very good. I loved it. Energy was there. Personality was so, there. Fabian? Give us your feedback. Well, I want to congratulate Jack for being such a good liar. It was a great game, Justin. I love it. I think that it brings football fans from all over the world together. Very, very fun game. And well, thank you for the invitation. You know, I'm going to keep looking for the whole series because it's a hit. Ash, before you respond to the bit about the game, can you respond a bit about you being able to live the dream in Manchester and what it's like to maybe connect with Manchester United fans, Jack aside, around the world? It, it feels great uh, as a man to be able to, you know, make the pilgrimage, you know, uh, often I, I go to the ground, even just to go and have a walk around. It's, it's fantastic. Look at this, the stadium, look at the statue, you know, uh, just be surrounded by a history and a heritage. It's, it, it feels great hearing from others around the world that've got the same love that you have, you know, for, for something that's always been dear to your heart. So, it's it's fantastic and and this format it was it was fun it was really fun apart from jack obviously jack uh once again liverpool has finished above yes, united uh for another season and will you reconsider your fandom at all it's a it's a really cool thing to see how everyone like watches the game around the world i think that's something that you should definitely try and keep as well i'd say that if, if this had been the other way around and it had been sort of a group of liverpool fans I probably wouldn't have attacked it with the same level of concentration and study as I did. I would have gone, well, I'm a Liverpool fan. I know what I'm talking about. Last night, I was um, I was texting back and forth with one of my United mates. And I basically asked him, I was like, what should any United fan know? He gave me a whole list of things that I should know. And I wrote them. Uh, down he's not I, a real United yeah, fan. Him. He's, he's not a real United fan. Him. Guys, thank you so much for this. This was a real pleasure. I'm sure this episode's going to come out really fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks.